Similarly, such children are unable to comprehend points of view different from their own, and Piaget devised an experiment to explore this. He was influenced by the view of the Swiss Alps outside the Institut Rousseau in Geneva, where he worked. And we've got four cars here with pictures on, and pictures of the mountains. Which picture shows what you can see from where you are? Mm. All of them. All of them. And which one looks most like what you can see? Like, you know, with the, the way the mountains look to you. Um, that one. That one. That's right. That's right. And if Dolly were you, would she see the same as you? Yes. That's right. So which picture would be the right one for Dolly as well? The same. The same. That's right. Now. If I put Dolly over here, right, over there, which picture now shows what Dolly can see? Uh, the same again. What's that? You point to the one, point to the card that you think shows what Dolly can see. Lovely, okay. If I put Dolly over there, which picture shows what she can see? If I put Dolly over there, which picture would show what she can see? That one. Okay. If the Dolly was sat where you are, yeah. yeah. Which picture would show what she could see? This one. The same one. Yes, that's right. Now, if I put the Dolly over here. Okay, so she's in a different place. Which picture shows what she can see now? That one. Lovely, that one. Very good. Where would we put Dolly so she would see that view? Right behind that big mountain. Yeah, looking this way, but over there. So what we've seen seems to support Piaget's conclusions about these younger and older children being at different stages of cognitive development.